The story goes that the opening track on Gwen Stefani's debut solo album, Love, Angel, Music Baby, was co-written by Linda Perry as a challenge to the former No Doubt singer to get over her writer's block. What You Waiting For went on to earn Gwen a Grammy nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance in 2005. She followed that single up with a duet with rapper Eve produced by Dr. Dre called Rich Girl, a reworking of a song from the musical Fiddler on the Roof. Then came the hugely successful Hollaback Girl, which came as a response to Courtney Love's jibe in an interview with Teen Magazine in which she referred to Gwen as a cheerleader. Hollaback Girl went on to become Gwen's first US number one single. Although she started working on her second solo album and her Harajuku Lovers Live tour soon after, much of Gwen's attention was being taken up by husband Gavin Rossdale, baby Kingston James, and her other great love, fashion. Already known for making most of her own stage clothes during her No Doubt days, she decided to get more serious about designing with the 2004 release of her label, Lamb. I mean, I've made clothes my whole life. I've been at TJMY, at Joanne Fabrics, and, you know, outlet stores finding, you know, crap fabric and trying to make costumes and all that stuff. But on this level, you know, it's just it's a whole other game. With help from her head designer, Zaldi, she drew inspiration for her first collection from a wide range of influences. It's always going to be a little bit of the Orange County, Anaheim Chola girl, a little bit of the Rasta girl, and then a little bit of that whole, I don't know, sound of music kind of English girl. And I think that we had this big theme that was like Great Gatsby, you know, kind of 1920s drop waist. And I just think that it's so sexy when you have all this covered up and then you turn around and there's just nothing there. Not content with launching lines of clothing, underwear, accessories and merchandise like cameras, mobile phone charms and dolls, she also had to have her own fragrance. It's really important for me to be able to do creatively whatever I want and not have anybody tell me what to do or have any boundaries or laws or rules or, you know. So I just went with um, them because they said, here, do what you want to do. And I'm like, okay, here we go. 